Archbishop Vigano, you are telling us that the decision to change the liturgy and to abolish the old liturgy does have something to do with this general crisis and the, the new world order. What should be the reaction of people in the church to what is happening as the church seems increasingly to be accommodating itself to a plan organized by people outside of the church? Well, we find ourselves trapped in an impasse, a dead end, from which we cannot escape as long as we do not recognize it for what it is. If we think that the present crisis can be solved by addressing ourselves to the civil or religious authority, as if we were in condition of relative normality, we continue to not understand that the responsibility for this crisis lays precisely in a betrayal carried out by those world authority. We cannot ask for justice for a wrong we have suffered if the judge were to condemn those who infringe on our rights is there accomplished? We cannot turn to a politician expecting them to revoke the violation of our fundamental freedoms if they are the very ones voting for those violations in Parliament because they obey those who pay them or blackmail them. And we cannot ask the bishops, and even less the Holy See, to protect the rights of the faithful when bishops and the Vatican itself consider our request as a threat to the power they hold and to the bankrupt ideology they defend. Hello, I'm Deborah Tomlinson with Irby Dorby Communications. Thank you for watching. The Vigano tapes consisted of 18 questions we asked Archbishop Vigano at the end of August 2021. Each question will be released separately in its own video over the next 18 days. So be sure to click that red subscribe button and the bell next to it so you'll be notified when we upload the next question. You don't want to miss them. Thank you so much.